Good morning, children. Uh, yesterday, we started the lesson, the, the dragon lanterns in English literature. Okay. And we did pages 80 and 81. Today, we will do pages 82 and 83. Yesterday, we learned that uh, this old man made beautiful dragons and he had made two dragon lanterns for the dragon festival, for the lantern festival. And Lee, a lazy, dishonest person, stole the lanterns and presented them to the emperor. Let us continue with the lesson today. Now, the emperor called all his uh, uh, courtiers and his empress to watch the dragons dance. And he asked Lee to make them dance. So let's see what happens. Begin, commanded the emperor. Lee had made a ball with colored ribbons. Remember, Lee forgot to take the ball the old man had made. So he made his own ball with colored ribbons, exactly like the old man's. Just like the one the old lantern maker had made. He moved the ball in the air as he had seen the old man do. Everyone leaned forward to see the dragons dance. But nothing happened. The dragon lanterns stayed as still as stone. The emperor was furious. Lee had embarrassed him in front of all. So the emperor was very angry because he had called everyone to watch the dragons dance and he felt insulted and embarrassed. How dare you lie to me? He raged. As punishment, you will be thrown into prison for a hundred years. The emperor decreed. So the emperor ordered Lee to be put into prison for a hundred years. The day before the lantern festival began, the old lantern maker's neighbors came up to his house. We heard that your dragon lanterns have been stolen, old master, they said. What a shame! Who would do such a thing? So all his neighbors came and told the old man, we are very sad that you have lost your dragon lanterns, that someone has stolen your dragon lanterns. Don't worry, the old man told them, smiling to himself. You'll still see my dragon lanterns dance tomorrow. Finally, the lantern festival arrived. The streets outside the emperor's palace were lined with brightly lit lanterns. The pretty lanterns lit up the street with the delicate yellow lights. Look, aren't they beautiful? exclaimed the town people. The old master also came out into the streets carrying his ball with the colored ribbons. He started to move the ball in the air. And what happened? Let's find out. In the palace, the two dragon lanterns flew out of the window and began to dance high in the air above the palace. Everyone could see the dragons dancing against the bright moonlit sky. The emperor was overjoyed. He realized that the old man was the real maker of the lanterns and congratulated him on his skill. What marvelous dancing lanterns, he said. The emperor honored the old master by asking him to create the palace lanterns every year from that day on. And every year, the emperor was delighted 
with the lantern maker's skill. So the emperor rewarded the old man by asking him to create the palace lanterns every year. Meanwhile, what happened to Lee? Meanwhile, Lazy Lee spent the rest of his dishonest days in prison and never saw another lantern as long as he lived. It is an old tale from China. I hope you like the story. Please read the chapter and we will continue with the lesson. Uh, new words, difficult words in the next lesson. Okay? Bye children.